Okay, enough with the Outlaws and the All-Stars for a second. Let's go with the PA Posse here. This is Lucas Wolf's number 5W uh, Badass Beer Wagon Car. I can't pronounce the name of the beer for the life of me, so I'm going with the Badass Beer Wagon just like everybody else. The Badass Beer Wagon Car is a great-looking die cast. It is, they call this the 2021 version, but I've seen this at Port Royal, and it had a totally different livery to it. So I think this might be the 2020 version of the car. Um, my inner sprint car fans can chime in. They can give me an expert expertise opinion. But I th I seen this at Port Royal. I had a different livery to it. Had different colors on it. So I'm assuming that this is the 2020. But nevertheless, I ca I just want to say right off the bat, absolutely be beautiful paint job. Beautiful car. Great job. No censorship, by the way. There's no censorship. This is a 164 beer wagon car with beer with full out alcohol based sponsorship no censorship nothing this is not a kid's version this is an adult collectible but i guarantee you if you're like me if you've seen seen what the speedway goes none of the tracks none of the gift shops nobody ids you nobody gives a shit that's what i love about sprint car racing that's what i love about indie car racing that's what i love about IMSA sports car competition. They do not ID check you. They just let you go. They just let you buy the product because the kids just want a die cast. They don't want beer. Well, maybe some do, but that's besides the point. That's more of the parents' job. But anyways, great looking packaging. That's another thing what uh, Acme has done. They have done such spectacular job with their packaging. I really give them a huge two thumbs up on that. They did what that that's where they really shined is the packaging design they did not cut corners they love having really bold beautiful packaging to catch the eye of the customer the customer will want the product more because the packaging is much more vibrant and sexy looking so that's really that you got the die cast itself which looks absolutely gorgeous 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 looking die cast back of the packaging got the acme acme logos back there like I said, this might be the 2020 version, but there might be the 2021. And I, and I just not seen the actual car race at Port Royal or Williams Grove. But you got Allen Back Racing, got number 64, 164, got Lucas Wolf's name there, and you got Lucas Wolf description here with the car number 5W. Again, spectacular job. Let's say that it's now time to review ourselves the very first PA Posse diecast review of this channel's history. The Badass Beer Wagon's now out of its box. Absolutely beautiful diecast we have in hand for you today. It is a pleasure to review a, a PA driver for once. And, you know, i seen this guy all of last year competing in this car or competing, um, whatever he was competing in. He was also competing in the 24, too, I believe. It was, it was, I saw a picture that said Wolf on it was a 24 car. My buddy Alex could probably chime in on that one. He probably could think either I'm on drugs or I'm not on drugs. But Lucas Wolf was definitely in other cars before he competed in the uh, Badass Beer Wagon car. And now he's in this car. And it's one of my personal favorites. I should have gotten the mini wing at Foreigners. They had mini wings of Lucas Wolf. They had just that right there. And they just, I, I it was signed to. I should have picked up a Lucas Wolf wing, but I just did not have the funds for that at the time being. So that's that. Orange Crate Brewing Company. That's probably the parent company of. I'm going to try to pronounce it. Bapst. Pabst. I, I probably butchered the hell out of that, but I call it the Badass Beer Wagon anyways. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Stinger. Oh, it's Stinger Racing Alcohol. Sure it's not the Stinger, the Marmon Wasp that Ray Haroon drove? <laughs> Got Stinger on it. I like that. As an Indy 500 fan, I love the fact it had, has Stinger on it. That just made my day. Past Blue Ribbon, Blue Ribbon Beer. I just didn't, I didn't pronounce that right. Is that, is that logo too right here on the wing? 24 one, 16 ounce cans. They promote their 24 pack on this car, obviously. Got number five, Allen Back Racing. Got some decals here. I uh, really can't see them too well on the little preview here, but you can definitely take a look here and pause the video. Take a look at these little sponsors that made their way onto the diecast. Got Hoosier Tires. Number 5W, got the chrome bumper here for the for the uh, toe or the push. Simpson uh, seat belts, which I absolutely loved on the last review. And you got the detailed cockpit here. 
back of the car here. Let's, let's zoom out a little bit so you can get a better view of this car. There you go. There's the back of the car here. And this side is the same as the left. Vibrant blue really dominates on this car. It was more white and dark blue when I saw it compete at Port Royal and Williams Grove. It is definitely a far cry from what this car offered. I, quite frankly, I like this car a little bit better than what Lucas drove at Port Royal. I think I'll probably put the picture somewhere in the video here as to where I was talking about what Lucas Wolf was driving and when I was at Port Royal. But still pretty cool. I missed some sponsors here. We got... Letter World Company. That's what I think it says anyways. Got number five. You got Orange Crate Brewing Company. Got Lucas Wolf's name on the front of the wing here. I like how they put the names in front of the wing now, so you can definitely tell who the name of the driver is. That's pretty cool because, you know, it, it's a new sprint car fan. You know, it's hard to see the names. It's hard to see it when you're actually, like, on the straightaway. When, we, when you're at a turn like Williams Grove and they, and they go sliding at you like this, you can see the person's name clearly, and you can almost see the driver's visor when you're that close at Williams Grove at some parts of the track. You can definitely get so close and personal, and you can read the names, and you can see the driver's name, but each driver's face. But when you're on the track at, like, at a high-speed oval, like, going, going like this, right now coming out of a turn, coming out like this to you, you know, it's hard to see the driver's name. But when you're in the infield, it's definitely much, much easier to see who's in the car. But overall, though, I love this product. Quite frankly, it might be my favorite one of the batch, and that's saying something. That a PA driver, a PA posse car, is my personal favorite out of the set. And it's one of the reasons why I reviewed it right now, because I wanted to get it out there and put the good name out for these local PA sprint car drivers. Sometimes the local guys are the ones that really make the track, and they keep it open. You know, you might be interested in mainly the, the big guys. Like the, I, mean, I love the outlaws. I love the all-stars. I love, you know, let's go Let's go even more open-wheel IndyCar. Uh, you know, Formula One and... Uh, and sports cars, IMSA, you know, and those guys. But it's really the local guys and the, um, the, uh, what's the proper term I'm looking for this? The the local drivers, the posse, those are the guys, the ones that keep the tracks open. And they and they draw good crowds. Pennsylvania, lo Pennsylvania loves their friggin' sprint cars. And they love their PA drivers. They are really passionate about their local drivers. So this is why I did this review for them. And they can get Lucas Wolf's car, which I think is available at Farner's Racing right now. So you can definitely pick it up there. And this will go to my buddy Clayton's Sprint Car Ra Racing League. He'll be getting this car. So congratulations, you'll be getting uh, some Sprint Car content on Instagram as well. But synthetic rubber tires, mostly metal. The chassis and the wings are mostly metal. Little plastic parts on the cockpit here on the roll cage, but that and also on the exhaust. But that's about it as far as plastic goes. Maybe a little bit of plastic down here. There's plastic on the under tray. That's that there. But most of the car itself is all metal, which is really good. True to scale, which is also really good. And oh, and you know what? A PA Posse sprint car driver. I mean, come on. You really cannot go wrong with a Lucas Wolf car. That is amazing. So let's do a 360 view of this Lucas Wolf car here. Here's the left side. Here's the front of the car, there's the right side, there's the back, here's the top of the car, and voila, there's the under tray. So give it a comment, like, and subscribe, and you know what? When the new spring car season rolls around, I hope to see Lucas Wolf once again in the badass beer wagon in 2022.